Hello, you lovely ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mengis. Uh, we got some more Advanced Wars reboot camp footage. Six minutes of gameplay, in fact. Uh, so today I figured we'd just do a live watch. I'm gonna do a reaction. We can watch it together if you haven't checked it out yet. And at the end of this video, we're also gonna react to some of the new seal power activations that they released. There's a lot of stuff to watch here, so I say we just get into it. Let's go! So we're starting right off the bat here with some Mission 4, it says? Interesting. Mission 4? This is Mission 1. That's a pretty big deviation. All right, here we go. I will say I love how the music changes when you actually go into battle. There's additionally different music for when you deploy units and for when your CO powers get activated. So there's actually four different variants of each CO's themes. So this is, uh, this is, of course, the original Mission 1, It's War, where Andy fights against Olaf. But now it's Mission 4, apparently, so that's very interesting. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see if this guy is going to play this mission properly and loads his... Oh, you see how the uh, infantry jumped into the APC? That was kind of cute. I like that. <laughs> Alright, now apparently we're going to jump to... This is later on, after Olaf has... Uh... Ooh... We can hear now. We can hear now his CO power variant. It's like a little chorus in the background here. That's really cool. I will say though, snow looks very weak. There's no falling, falling snow on the screen, which makes it look a lot less intimidating. Like it should, it should be a blizzard, man. Like why don't amp up the effects and have some howling wind and stuff? You know, this doesn't look like a blizzard. This looks like Norway in May. Like come on. <laughs> that snow ain't gonna slow anything down. So, I, what I'm curious about is whether or not they made any changes to the AIs. The AI is dumb, as it always was. Will it still blindly go after APCs like it always has? The speed up is a nice function. Now we're on day 10, alright. So he cleared the mission in 10 days. I don't think he's gonna get an S rank. The time requirement for the first mission is actually pretty steep. Again. Oh, he sounds Scottish. <laughs> so they're doing the partial voice acting, yeah. I expect this dialogue is going to be very different. Because um, your self-insert is not present here. Normally, Olaf will reference the self-insert here. But yeah. <laughs> Nell's grandpa? <laughs> I think he says Papa in the original. Okay, all right, let's see what kind of ranking the scrub got. 10 days, I think that's an A rank. Yeah, that's not an S rank, I think. Helicopters and powers, yeah, so this is very different. In this particular mission, this used to be a field training mission. Ah, Missile Chan, my beloved. This used to be a field training mission, but now they kind of combined it into one. So now you get the CO powers. Normally, in Advanced Wars 1, uh, Nelk would never activate her... CO power. But she does in this mission for some reason. Alright, Antire, 120% against Battlecopter, so damage values appear pretty unchanged. So this is a mission where I think this is where he uh This is where he laughs. Willow laughs and he has a medium tank and he's very proud of it, and then you just HQ cap him. Pretty cool field training mission. Of... Ah, here we go. Blizzard. Blizzard. I do like this activation. It's pretty cool, but the, where's the sound effect when the snow happens? And where's the snow? There's no snow. It's so weak. It doesn't look intimidating at all. Ah, oh, how could you get your missiles destroyed, you absolute noob? You're playing this worse than Olaf. Ah, here we get to see the Lucky Star activation. They nailed Lucky Mel. Star. Maybe I should watch my phrase saying, but they, they really got they really did Nell justice. And will we get to hear her CO power theme here? It sounds good. I like it. Alright, will she get good luck? Okay, so her artillery just dealt 7 HP of damage for that tank there. 
Let's see how the mechs do. 14%. So it looks like uh, luck damage is pretty unchanged in this game, because... Uh, it's actually pretty good, so 43%. Wait, 43%? Are those... Were those medium tanks or... Wait, 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 wait. I I have to. Sorry. I have to go back and look at that again. That's actually a pretty big deal, so... Uh, is that a medium tank? Oh, no, that's a regular tank. Yeah, because now they're now they're firing. Yeah, 14% against medium tanks. That's that's all right. And she, she rolls at least 2 HP of luck damage there. Is that a regular tank? That's a regular tank, I'm pretty Yeah, that's a regular tank. It's a bit difficult to see the difference, if I'm going to be completely honest. All right, so here's the map editor. Good old music coming back. So there should be like an online OK notification that shows up whenever the map is good to play online. This map is small though. It's like a... This is like a 11 by... 11 by 15, I think. What the hell is this map? This looks awful to play on. Make better maps. Oh my goodness, it's just gonna be Artillery City. No, don't make... Don't make, don't make choke points. That's gonna be terrible. Oh my god, someone give this this, this person a, a course in making maps, please. This is terrible. <laughs> no, don't block it up with mountains. No, what are you doing? <laughs> oh no, it's not even symmetrical. Reefs, there's no... Oh my god, this is the worst map I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god, look at this shit. One base, really? One base harbor. Yeah, I can- this is like Span Island quality. So I would actually say Span Island looks more fun to play than this piece of ship map. <laughs> okay, where's the online okay though? I think he probably needs to place HQs maybe? Because if- yeah, there should be like a little online okay popping up whenever the map can be played online. I never- I would never want to play this map online, but there you go, there you see. Play okay, online okay. So I- I, I believe this is as big as the maps can get, which is terrible. Please fix this in a patch. Like, make we need bigger maps. There's no reason to have maps this small. All right, so that seems to be all for now. Um, yeah, very faithful remake. Doesn't look like anything's gonna change. It's just basically just an advanced horse remake with worse graphics and shitty. <laughs> it's a bit sad, but I'm still very excited to play it. But um. Yeah, I, I wish it was done by people who had a bit more enthusiasm for online play. Uh, so now I'd like to react to, they on their website, they actually put out a bunch of CO power activations. I believe we've seen most of them before. I think there's some new here. So let, let's just take a look at it, shall we? So the first thing is Andy's hyper repair. Hyper repair! It's good. I like the little twirling of the wrench. Here we get to see Sami's double time. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. I like it. It's uh, it's a very good power activation. I like how the music is different for each CO. That gives gives it a lot of flair. So up next we have Max. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love the boxing ring sounds. So incredible. This is probably one of my favorites so far, honestly. This is really good. I don't know why they turned off the music. Maybe to highlight the power music more, maybe? Yep, Max is gonna be broken, guys. He's gonna be out. Advanced Force 1 Max is going to be absolutely broken. Here we go. Blizzard. Blizzard. I absolutely hate the snow activation. It, it's stupid. There should be snow on the on the on the screen. There should be a blizzard howling. This is the we this is one of the weakest powers, in my opinion. Like visual. And I really don't like it. <laughs> Look at Max is defeated. Yeah, here we go. The squall. The controversial squall because Tsunami is too offensive. Now, one thing I kind of like about this is that it's not showing its not showing all units getting damaged anymore, so in Fog of War, it won't reveal hidden units. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a really good one, actually. I don't know why they won't just depict him holding a sword, though. Maybe they're worried about the samurai depictions. I don't know. So yeah, that is interesting for sure. Um, again, very faithful remake. Not a big fan of the Overland graphics. Love the CO graphics. 
So yeah, I'm gonna try my best to make use of the online features, but I have a feeling it's gonna be rough, and uh, I, I do worry for the sales numbers with the two-year delay. I think it's gonna... I have a feeling this game may sell pretty poorly due to the bad graphics and the delays, but we'll see. Hopefully they'll, they'll release the numbers and we'll see just how successful this, this game is. I, I do kind of fear it's gonna be a little bit of a flop, but I am still going to enjoy the hell out of it. So, what do you guys think? You enjoy this uh, footage? You like what you see? Uh, or are you disappointed? Let me know in the comment section below. Now, I'm sure there's going to be lots of news dropping this week, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be making videos as soon as they come out. Oosh. See ya!